Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the cooling water corrosion. Description of damage. General or localized corrosion of carbon steels and other metals caused by dissolved salts, gases, organic compounds or microbiological activity in cooling water systems as illustrated in figure example of cooling water corrosion on the inside diameter of a carbon steel heat exchanger tube operating at 85 degrees Fahrenheit Affected materials Carbon steel, all grades of stainless steel, copper and copper alloys, aluminum and aluminum alloys, titanium and nickel alloys. Critical factors Fluid temperature, type of water, fresh, brackish, or salt water and the type of cooling system once through open circulating or closed circulating oxygen content and fluid velocities are critical factors higher cooling water temperature causes increased corrosion rates increasing cooling water outlet temperatures and or process side inlet temperatures tend to increase corrosion rates as well as fouling tendency. If the process side temperature is above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a scaling potential exists with fresh water. Brackish and salt water outlet temperatures above about 115 degrees Fahrenheit may cause serious scaling. Increasing oxygen content tends to increase carbon steel corrosion rates. Velocities should be high enough to minimize fouling and drop out of deposits but not so high as to cause erosion. Generally, velocities below about 3 foot per second are likely to result in fouling, sedimentation, and increased corrosion in fresh and brackish water systems. Fouling may be caused by mineral deposits, hardness, silt, suspended organic materials, corrosion products, mill scale, and marine and microbiological growth. Affected units or equipment. Cooling water corrosion is a concern with cooling towers, piping, pumps, water-cooled heat exchangers, and any other equipment associated with cooling water systems. Appearance or morphology of damage As illustrated in figures, cooling water corrosion can result in many different forms of damage including general corrosion pitting corrosion microbiological corrosion stress corrosion cracking and fouling General or uniform corrosion of carbon steel occurs 
when dissolved oxygen is present. Localized corrosion may result from under deposit corrosion, crevice corrosion, or microbiological corrosion. Wavy or smooth corrosion, at nozzle inlets, or outlets and exchanger tube inlets. May be due to flow accelerated corrosion, erosion, or abrasion. Corrosion at electric resistance welding, weld areas will appear as Grooving along the weld fusion lines. Prevention, mitigation. Cooling water corrosion and fouling is best managed by proper design, operation, and chemical treatment of cooling water systems. Process side inlet temperatures of Water-cooled exchangers should be maintained below 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Minimum and maximum water velocities must be maintained, particularly in salt water systems. The metallurgy of heat exchanger components may need to be upgraded for improved resistance especially in waters with high chloride content, low velocity, and or poorly maintained water chemistry, where exchanger process side temperatures are high, or where there is simply the desire to extend tube life. Periodic mechanical cleaning of tube inside diameters and outside diameters should be performed in order to maintain clean heat transfer surfaces with very few exceptions cooling water should be on the tube side to minimize stagnant areas Installation of sacrificial anodes on the cooling water side of water cooled heat exchangers can increase the life of channel heads, tube sheets, and tubes to a certain extent, as long as they are galvanically coupled to the anodes. Inspection and Monitoring Cooling water should be monitored for variables that affect corrosion and fouling including pH, oxygen content, cycles of concentration, biocide residual, biological activity. Cooling water outlet temperatures, hydrocarbon contamination, and process leaks. Periodic calculation of U-factors, heat exchanger performance measurement will provide information on scaling and fouling. Strategically placing continuous corrosion monitoring devices on the system, such as corrosion coupons, ER probes, or online monitoring sensors, can provide an early indication of increased corrosion rates that need further evaluation. Exchanger tube inspection using remote field eddy current eddy current testing and internal rotary inspection system can be used to establish corrosion rates and predict tube life. In order to plan for tube or tube bundle repair or replacement. As illustrated in figures. Iris internal rotary inspection system iris is used when a higher flaw detection and sizing capability is needed compared to the other methods but it is slower and thorough tube cleaning is required prior to inspection iris can be used on both ferrous and non-ferrous materials 
Iris is most commonly used on carbon steel tubes. As illustrated in figures, RFT, remote field eddy current. RFT is commonly used for inspection of ferrous, carbon steel, tubes. RFT has an equal sensitivity to inside diameter and outside diameter indications and can detect and size corrosion and pitting as well as baffle cuts. Related Mechanisms Microbiologically Induced Corrosion Chloride Stress Corrosion Cracking Galvanic Corrosion Concentration Cell Corrosion and Brine Corrosion Summary Description Cooling water corrosion can result in many different forms of damage including General corrosion, pitting corrosion, microbiologically induced corrosion, stress corrosion cracking and fouling, temperature range. The process side temperature is above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. A scaling potential exists with fresh water. Brackish and salt water outlet temperatures above about 115 degrees Fahrenheit may cause serious scaling. Affected metallurgy. Carbon steel, all grades of stainless steel, copper, aluminum, titanium, and nickel base alloys. Prevention Proper design, operation and Chemical treatment of cooling water systems Inspection methods Periodic calculation of U-factors Ultrasonic flow meters ECTRFT and iris inspection of tubes and Splitting representative tubes Practice time. Question number one. What factors affect cooling water corrosion? Answer is B. Question number two. Cooling water corrosion of exchanger tubes is topically increased by Answer is C Question number 3 Cooling water corrosion usually increases with Answer is A. Question number four. Which is prone cooling water corrosion and may suffer severe weld and or heated affected zone corrosion in fresh and or brackish water? Answer is A. Question number 5. How corrosion at ERW weld areas will appear? Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.